Hello, first tonight, a pledge from the Prime Minister. Stick with me and I'll bring hundreds of thousands of jobs and billions of pounds to the economy of this region. He was speaking in Felixstowe, setting out his economic plan for the East. David Cameron promised a quarter of a million new jobs over the next five years and a £12 billion expansion of the region's economy by 2030. On infrastructure, he admitted it's been bad for too long. There was a £4.2 billion investment plan for transport across the east. He backed the Norwich in 90 campaign for the main rail line through Essex, Suffolk and Norfolk. There were commitments to the Sizewell C nuclear power station and to the tourist industry, giving £1 million to the restoration of Norwich Castle. We'll hear from David Cameron in a moment, but first Kim Riley on the Prime Minister's visit to the port of Felixstowe. David Cameron became the first Prime Minister since Margaret Thatcher to don his hard hat and visit the port that last year handled over four million containers. He saluted its record and its active expansion programme. It was part, he said, of an exciting story of economic recovery. In a giant hangar in front of 300 port workers, business people and local MPs, he outlined a long-term economic plan for the East. A recovery that has seen the fastest growth in employment anywhere in England outside London since 2010. There are in this region nearly 200,000 more people in work, over 190,000 more apprentices, nearly 80,000 more businesses and the latest data showing productivity growth in the region now outstripping England as a whole. The Prime Minister promised action to ensure the region wasn't held back by poor infrastructure. Business leaders stressed the importance of delivering on that pledge. There was uh, more to be made around the rail. Yes, uh, Prime Minister fully uh, supported the Norwich to London uh, initiative, uh, Norwich in 90, which is great to hear. But I didn't hear anything today about the very important east-west links that this region is desperately in need of. They give him good marks for today. I'd, I'd give him a, a good 8 out of 10, I think, for today. But as I say, uh, and as the Prime Minister said, in his words, there is certainly a lot more to do, and he's right there. Family firm C Transport operates out of Felixstowe and Ipswich. It runs up to 40 trucks, employs 60 people, and has a £9 million annual turnover. Its managing director, underwhelmed by the Prime Minister's pledges. The, the Prime Minister is basking in, in the success of, of Felixstowe and the, and the local industries, really, and I think... No, that's a, a bit of a nerve, really. Um, I think the uh, area would have been successful with or without what plans the government may or, or may not have done. You've got the A14 and you've got the A12. The road network infrastructure as a whole in the UK is, is really bordering on being an embarrassment. Labour politicians dispute the rosy economic picture painted by the Prime Minister. David Cameron's so-called economic plan is just not working for Lowestoft and many places in our region. In Lowestoft, he actually closed Blunderstone Prison with a loss of 450 jobs. He's failed to invest in offshore wind, jeopardising jobs for the future. And I speak to hundreds of people every week, and they're not feeling any benefits of any recovery. At the port, which has opened two new deep water berths and a rail terminal since the coalition took office, there's growing confidence. Millions more are being ploughed into further development. Kim Riley, BBC Look East, at the port of Felix.